So what is the definition of low flow anesthesia? So this is an inhalational technique via a rebreathing system. The rebreathing system is important in which the rebreathing fraction is at least 50% of the fresh gas flow. So the, the rebreathing fraction is led back to the patient after it flows through a carbon dioxide absorber. This carbon dioxide absorber is an in, important component of the low flow anesthesia. So the carbon dioxide absorb, absorber absorbs all the carbon dioxide which is exhaled by the patient and then uh, the rebreathed air is led back to the patient after it passes through the carbon dioxide absorber. So the fresh gas flow has to be distinctly lower than the patient's breathing minute volume. So this defines the low flow anesthesia. There is a classification that is a Simonescu classification and there is a modification which is the Baker's modification which defines the various uh, flows. So metabolic flow is one the flow where the fresh gas flow is less than 250 ml and if the fresh gas flow is between 250 and 500 ml then it uh, is minimal flow anesthesia and it is low flow anesthesia if the fresh gas flow is between 500 and uh, 1 liter per minute and it, it is a medium flow if the flow is between 1 and 2 liters per minute and it is a high flow if it is 2 and 4 liters per minute and it is a very high flow if it is more than 4 liters per minute. So this is a classic example of a rebreathing system. So the anesthetic gases in the patient's exhalational air are returned back to the patient. So this is the Y piece, this is the inspiratory limb and this is the expiratory limb and there is a one-way inspiratory unidirectional wall and there is a one-way expirational unidirectional wall. This is a fresh gas flow or fresh gas inlet where the fresh gas flow flows. So this is taken via the inspiratory limb into the patient and from the patient it comes back into the expiratory limb and it goes into the carbon dioxide canister. After the CO2 is absorbed, it is again led back to the inspiratory limb of the patient. So, this is a uh, bag ventilator switch and this is a bag assembly and this is the ventilator assembly. So, here what is most important in the rebreathing system is the chemical bonding of the CO2 through the, chemi through the CO2 absorber. So, this is a classical equation CaOH2 plus CO2 which uh, gives calcium carbonate plus water which increases that this is an exothermic reaction which generates heat. So, this H2 and this heat uh, acts as a heat moisture exchanger and the air is not dried up. So this graph tells us the uh, category whether it is a high flow, intermediate flow, low flow or a, a minimal flow and the percentage of rebreathing which occurs in each flow type. So if it is 5 liters flow then the rebreath volume is very less. It almost amounts to 0% of the rebreath volume. And as the flow is decreased, then the rebreathing volume increases. So, if you see in the high flow that is more than 5 liters per minute, the rebreathing volume is 0%. And intermediate flow where there is a T liters per minute, the rebreath volume is 52%. Beyond this is what is called as a low flow anesthesia. Low flow anesthesia with 1 liter per minute accounts for 86 percent and minimal flow with 0.5 liters per minute the rebreath fraction is around 97 percentage and in a closed loop anesthesia where the fresh gas flow is between 0.3 to 0.5 liters per minute the rebreath fraction. Is